Hey everyone, this is the Roger Williams Media Minute. Today I want to talk with you about email newsletters. So email's been around forever. We're tired of it. We get it all the time. But email newsletters are still a very effective method of marketing your business, your groups, whatever you have where you need to reach out to a large group of people with email. Uh, email newsletters is the way to do it, obviously. The reason for this is because everybody checks email. It doesn't matter what age, what education level, pretty much everybody's either got a free email, they got a work email, they might have a personal email that they set up on their own domain name. Whatever it is, pretty much everybody's got an email now. Uh, I don't even know if you can sign up for bank accounts with that one. They probably can, but either way, you get my point. If you send out email newsletters, you're going to have the best chance of getting the most people. Okay, not everybody's on Facebook, not everybody checks Facebook all the time. Pretty much everybody's on email, pretty much everybody checks email nonstop. Now, you need to be careful because there is a law specifically dealing with email newsletters. It's called the Can Spam Act of 2003. Basically, it makes it criminal to send out mass emails to groups of people if you don't follow certain rules. The good news is, is that there are services that you can use that will help manage all this for you and keep you on the right side of the law. The best one that I like is MailChimp. You can go to MailChimp.com and they're great because A, you can start off and you don't have to spend a dime. You can have up to 2,000 subscribers on your newsletter. You can send out 12,000 emails per month for no charge pretty crazy. You get a lot with that as well. Not only do you get little buttons and forms that you can put on your website so people can sign up for your newsletter, but then they've got campaign creators where you can go through and they'll have pre-made templates so that all you have to do is drag and drop photos in, type your text, you can add social sharing buttons like a Facebook button or a Twitter button, and it's all done for you. You don't have to get into any of the coding. The great thing is also uh, you can create a plain text email. There's a lot of people that still only accept plain text emails and it will walk you through that. You'll look at your email, see how it looks, make adjustments so that those people get an email that is easy to read, gets the point across and is effective for you. And then finally, you can test the email before you send it out. So you can send it to yourself, send it to some friends, send it to some coworkers and make sure that A, it looks great on your cell phone, which it will because MailChimp's templates adjust to cell phone sizes. Also make sure it looks good on the desktop. Make sure it looks good in plain text. A couple of tips and hints. When you're sending out these emails, you wanna make sure that the subject line of the email gets to the point right away. You probably wanna have your business name in there and then something about what this is about. Don't just say, hey, it's uh, company XYZ newsletter for June. You know, maybe, you know, you have the June part, but then maybe you have like whatever your main subject is gonna be talking about. You got a new product launch. You now offer 24 seven free support. Just something that will catch the person's eye, make them interested, make them open that email. Now, once they're in the email, remember that you're dealing with the fact that they've probably got five, 10, 100 other emails they need to go through. So you need to make sure that it gets to the point quickly and concisely so that they can skim it, figure out if it's something that they need to pay attention to or not. Either they can take an action on it right away, they click a link, make a purchase, or they can file it away to get back to later. I also highly suggest adding buttons to your company's Facebook and Twitter accounts. You wanna try and expand out how many different ways you're trying to reach people with these things. And that's really about it. You know, you, you wanna be careful about how often you're sending the messages. Don't be too annoying. Um, but make sure, you know, you're using it as the tool it's supposed to, where you're letting people know about things that are happening with your company. Now, they have voluntarily signed up for this thing, so they should be okay with getting those emails. There's a lot of fun analytics as well. It'll show you open rate, click-through rate, bounce rate, all these things that make you feel good, but at the end of the day, you wanna make sure you're tracking how many people are either calling the company because of the newsletter or filling out the web form on your website so that you can track how much money that that email campaign is generating or how many uh, actions it's generating. If you're a nonprofit group or you're just a community organization, how many people are signing up and getting involved because you're sending those emails. Have a lot of fun with it. MailChimp.com, really easy to use. Let me know if you have questions. My email's right there. 
I think this is a, an interesting subject. A lot of people see it as passe emails. It's old, you know, there's, there's all this social media now. Well, no, it turns out email is still a very important aspect of marketing uh, for the right businesses. Some businesses should not be doing email marketing, but that's another subject. That's what I've got today. Uh, we've got more subjects coming up tomorrow. Let me know how I'm doing. Love to talk to you. Rock on.